you are a software engineer right now, I'm sure you are sick of all the noise about how layoffs have flooded the market, how AI is going to replace us all, and how, you know, if you buy this 45 bucks course, everything is going to be fine. So in this video, I will answer questions like, how is the market doing right now? How can I stand out from the competition with so many great candidates out there? And what does the future hold for software engineers? Don't worry, despite the bad news, the future is quite bright and I will show you why. If you don't know me, my name is Dragos. I'm a self-taught senior software engineer. And four years ago, I founded The Senior Dev, where together with my brother Bogdan, we helped over 300 software engineers level up to senior and beyond. Now onto the first harsh truth about the current developer job market. The job market is truly unforgiving. Mass layoffs pushed tons of talented devs in a market which was already saturated because of all these boot camps and CS degrees that have been pumping up developers for the last decade or so. Then while inflation and some other geopolitical factors weakened the global economy and dried up investment. So it became a lot harder for companies to raise money, specifically tech companies. On top of that, you got remote work who became more and more popular, meaning that tech jobs now have basically international competition. And finally, as you all know, AI came all over the news and tools like Copilot and ChatGPT made companies believe that, you know, they can deliver the same as before without needing to hire more expensive developers. In the short term, this means more competition for a smaller amount of job positions. So if you're a developer interviewing in the current market, you need to raise the bar of everything you're doing because even the slightest mistake will get you rejected. Which of course brings me to the next point. Technical interviews got a lot harder. Companies are getting hundreds of candidates and you know, they can't tell the difference between the good and the bad. So they are making developers jump through more and more hoops before even extending an offer. I mean, I've seen three people startups having seven steps technical interviews for like junior level positions. And I've seen live coding front-end interviews using data structures and algorithmic questions and greedy algorithms that have nothing in common to what a front-end engineer does on a daily basis. So why do companies even do that? Well, first, because they can. They know they have the power in this market. Second, because they think that the more time they take into hiring someone, the better that hiring decision will be. Which is not even true, you know, this is like this online dating thing where you know people keep dating and never settle because they always think there's something better around the corner and there's like infinite options, but we can't help that. So they just keep seeing people and seeing people, which means that just knowing your stuff well and performing in technical interviews, it's not longer enough. You need to create kind of scarcity in their minds. Companies need to feel like you're the only one who can actually do the job. Which, of course, brings me to the next point. Number three, competition is for losers. The reason why you're not getting calls back when you're sending your resume for jobs or why you're getting offered less money than you're worth, it's because companies can't tell the difference between you and the next developer next to you knocking on their door. If your CV looks the same, if you're being too generic in your answers in technical interviews, or if you don't have an opinion, an informed opinion about the code you are working with every day, then you will just be passed on by the competition, by another eager developer to do the job. Just knowing about certain topics like testing, performance, or even code quality, it's not enough. You need to know them in depth, not just on the surface. Which means that, number four, the devil, it's in the details. Look, most front-end developers out there are pretty good at writing React components. Most back-end developers know how to properly build a REST API. But do they know how to test it? Do they know how to fix performance issues? Do they understand what's happening under the hood? Those details are the kind of stuff that makes the difference between being kept on the team or getting laid off. This is unfortunately the stuff that most developers ignored while chasing the latest shiny JavaScript framework. But those times are gone. To have a chance in the current market, you have no choice but to be almost obsessed about things that you maybe didn't care about before because your company, for example, was not doing these things like TypeScript or testing or whatever. Now, be careful. This doesn't mean you need to master every shiny object and every framework under the sun because at the same time, in this market, focus bits diversification. I mean, doing 10 things at the same time, it's a strategy used by people who don't have any idea about what works. Because answer me this, if you would know exactly what works, then why would you waste time doing something else? But the truth is, unfortunately, most developers out there and most tech influencers here on YouTube 
don't know what works because they haven't made it work in their real life. If they would, then they would realize that you don't need a lot of things. You just need to double down on the stuff that works. By the way, if you are having trouble finding out what to focus on, the best starting point is to find your existing technical gaps. So check out the free technical assessment we put together for you in the comments section. Now on to the next point, number six, Fundamentals matter more than ever. Why? Because with so much noise and so much stuff that's being demanded these days, there's no way for you to pass a technical interview just by trying to memorize things. It is only by knowing things in depth and knowing the patterns behind them that you can improvise and perform well in technical interviews regardless of the particular question you will be asked. Fundamentals are often also the most forgotten part in software development because most developers stop investigating and looking into things as soon as their code works. But make no mistake, developers who will succeed in this new paradigm are the ones who are not satisfied with knowing the what, but also knowing the why behind what they do. And it's not only knowing about things, but showing, showing that you are able to actually deliver value based on what you know, which brings us to the next point. Number seven, the only stack, it's full stack. Go check any job posting or job position open right now. It doesn't matter if it's front-end or back-end. You will see that most of them are demanding full stack skills. Why? Because companies want more for their money. They can't afford to pay someone just to build a bunch of buttons for six months, which, believe it or not, was the case a few years ago. If you're a React developer who can't solve problems with vanilla JavaScript or can't get their software to production, then you are on for a big surprise. The software engineers who are succeeding in this market are the ones who can think about the big picture. It's the ones who understand how everything fits together from requirement to code to value delivered to the user. So for example, if you've been working on the front end for the last few years, it might be time for you to get out of your comfort zone and add some real full stack skills to that. And finally, I see a lot of software engineers asking themselves if they should stay in this market, even if it's oversaturated and thinking about quitting software development and doing something else altogether. Look, if you want to quit, go ahead. Guess what? There's always a reason to quit, regardless of the market. Now the market is oversaturated. A few years ago, the market was fine, but the job was stressful or too boring or something else. Every market is oversaturated these days and every market will get automated by AI to some extent at least. Does that mean we won't need any lawyers or accountants or recruiters in the near future? Of course we will. The market is oversaturated with bad developers and undersaturated with good ones. As long as the world needs software, they will need software engineers. And guess what? There's almost infinite demand for software right now. Think about it. Most governments are still not digital. Most healthcare, it's not digitalized. The energy sector, it's not digitalized yet. There's enough work to be done for software engineers for the next decades at least. AI won't automate that. It will just motivate more and more companies to build their own software, just like we do at the senior dev. So remember, as long as the world needs software, it will need developers and it will need you. That's it for today, folks. I'll see you in the next one.